Okay, so that was really an introduction to fragment shaders. Uh, I didn't really do anything special with a vertex shader for simple color. Just basically transform the vertices and object space into screen space. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something, not really anything special, but I'm going to do something in the vertex shader. Um, yeah, I won't bother creating another. I wanted to create a new file for this, but I can't be asked. So, back four. Uh, position, yeah, why not? Equals in position. I'm going to. Remember, in position is a vector four, so 1.0. I'll create it into there. And now what I'm going to do. Is for each vertex that's getting passed in, I'm going to change the Z to zero. And then go to there, position, and leave everything as it is. Shift F6. Note. Oh, this is moving so slow. Ten. I still want it to go so fast. Wow, that's so slow. Good. Hopefully we've got a pancake. Yes, pancake sphere. Oh yeah, in the pancake sphere. Cool. There's your intro to vertex shaders. Um so yeah, so vertex shader. Every single vertex that Jamie sends to the, the graphics processor gets processed by this vertex shader. So it's got a position, it's got a normal texture coordinate, so on, so on. So each vertex that gets passed in, I'm set, setting the Z to, uh, to zero. So basically just flattening it like a pancake, doing nothing else special anywhere else. Okay, let's move on to the next one.